Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome to the beginning of my savings, budgeting, and YouTube journey. I am here to represent the low-income, hard-working single parents. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and share the strategies I learn as I go. So if you're interested in following along on my journey, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to continue following my journey. So today, I'm just going to jump right in for you and show you how it went when I attempted to do my first monthly budget versus my usual bi-weekly budgeting process. This is the cheat sheet that I will be using moving forward. So I am going to go ahead and put in these due dates here. And insurance for July is already paid. But I will not sorry, insurance, not insurance, mortgage. So let's see, 860 mortgage is paid. I'm just gonna put 860M with a check mark. Okay, and Insurance is coming out on the 10th. I'm going to put 110 for insurance. I'm just going to put a little checkbox in there. And internet, $40. This one had already paid because this was the pay period that just passed. So these bills um, have either already come out or are in the bank waiting for them to be taken out. So this, this stays in a separate bill account. Um, so I don't touch those and I'm not tempted to touch them. So on the third, the $40 for internet. This one I pay manually. So that one I've already paid. For utilities, I will have the $80. And then I will have the $95. Utilities, $95. So that is going to be a total of 175. So my bill right now in there, since I've been doing this buffering thing for a couple months, my bill right now in for the utilities is only $45, which is great. So the plan is for it to be in the negative in my account, so that by the time that I, winter time comes, there's a cushion for me. Okay. So if my account balance says that I don't owe anything and I actually have a credit there of $100, etc. cetera, that's a great thing. That's awesome, that'll be great. That means that when new bills come in, they're just gonna take it from the credit that I have already on there, okay? So let's see, what's next on here? Um, let's say allowance is payday. a little mark there by mistake so I'm gonna take that off if you see the little white flex it's from me putting these little sticker things on I promise I'm not dirty <laughs> it's just from taking the back of these off and scratching it so I did wash my hands but apparently it doesn't didn't work too well the first round go around all right so I'll put little check marks this is for each payday uh, I also want to put the ones for the next week B and that's gonna be mortgage I already have. And Amazon on the 11th. So Amazon, that's taken out automatically, but I still wanna know when it comes out. Netflix is on the 12th. And really what I should have done is, I'll put a note for August. This will be August. What I want to do is color code my expenses for next time. That way I can tell which pay period it's coming out of. So maybe I have a color for A and a color for B. All right, what's next? Phone is $60 on the 15th. $60 for my phone. That's both of our phones actually. We have really cheap service, but it works just fine. We have internet at home, so I haven't had an issue with that. We have we've had it for a few years now. So uh, utilities I already put down. Credit card on the twenty first, which all of my bills I pay on payday because that just makes it easier for me to never forget and make sure that they're all paid. If they're going to be due in a pay period, doesn't matter. I might as well pay it then. I might as well pay it on the 19th because I have to pay it with this paycheck anyway. So I just pay it all on payday. 
shopping and that's it i think i have them all written down my credit card minimum balance is 35 dollars, but right now i am paying 56 it sounds like a weird number but it was only so that i could have an even 680 here and an even 680 here okay and i made that balance by um fluctuating the amounts for the utilities basically that was it and then I controlled a little bit on the credit card because I'm paying more than the minimum. So I just wanted these to match. Um, I put a little star here. This will show me which ones I have to pay manually so I don't forget that on the payday of that bill period, um, I pay all of these, all the ones I have to do manually. And let's see, what else do we have? I think that's it. I don't have any other surprises. I am one of the highlight the things that are extra meaning that they are on my normal bill so that I know those are other expenses outside of my norm that I have to be prepared of. So this life insurance bill, I just checked it today and it's due today, but there is a grace period, thank God, because that was not in my budget, um, actually, but I have the 25 extra dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay that today. Life insurance. All right, so that brings me $15 extra. And I'll just leave that probably as a buffer. I don't know for sure, but for now, I'm gonna leave that as a buffer. Okay, it would've been nice to use it for something else, but that's okay. And my mortgage, um, I paid it, but it hasn't come out already. So I have to keep an eye out on that bill account to make sure that there's enough in there um, for all the other bills, but I have already checked that so I know that I'll have that buffer there okay, That's it for the month. So I want to go into the detail of the budget breakdown. This is my first time doing a monthly projection um, Here's the whole form. I did show you in detail in my last video that I made these um, I just made it off of an Excel spreadsheet. I had a draft that I did um, probably about a month ago, and I just used that to fill in the spaces that I wanted to keep track of my budget. You don't have to have it as detailed as I am, but because I've been tracking my budget in small little ways, I just wanted to have it in detail in um, a, a bigger setting. I'm actually going to use a pencil for this since it's my first time using this. Oh boy. Man down. That's okay. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> Can you tell I'm feeling lazy today? If you can't, I am. I have some back pain, but I'm not gonna roll with me, so. All right, moving on. Oh, that's great. All right, so the month is July, and the last paycheck we used, I'm just gonna take this out. This was the last paycheck that we used this out as reference see the, the things that I paid with the last pay period that we're just going to be coming off of um, so I don't have to worry about those variable expenses let's see so the last paycheck why do I why did I get this out last pay this is why because <laughs> the last paycheck was paycheck a so this one will be paycheck B all right we'll put it in a lot jeez July and paycheck B. This is going to be good for the. It's going to be good for the fifth all the way through to the 18th. So that's what I'm going to mark down. Actually, let me take this out. That might be easier to reference both of them that way. Take it out. August too. Put that inside. This. Okay. This is paycheck B from the 5th to the 18th. Okay. And the next check will be paycheck A from the 19th all the way to, let's see, that'll be, uh, I want to write this in something different so I don't get it mixed up. That'll be August 1st right here and August 2nd will be, that'll be my payday. I'm not gonna write that in here because I don't want it to mess me up when I'm looking at July, but so I know this will go from the 19th all the way through to August 1st, two, eight, one. 
All right, and so I don't know for sure how much my income will be, but I always project it. So that's why I have that cheat sheet. All right, so I always plan for a breakdown of $1,300. So my paycheck, I always base any budget that I make off of the $1,300. It's, most of the time it's more, but it's never less. So that's just a tip that I always say, find maybe in the last six months what your lowest paycheck was, factor in maybe if you did overtime and if you're gonna keep doing it, but, and use that as your breakdown projection. Okay, so I always estimate with $1,300. I always estimate that my fixed expenses will be 680 here, see that, for each pay period. And then I use a $10 buffer in that bill account where all the fixed expenses come from. A $200 is all, always automatically auto-saved. My variable funds here, I estimate for $400. I made some changes to those amounts as well. We'll go over that. And then there's a buffer for that account. So the goal is always $0 besides the buffer. Okay, that's it. So income here. So since this is the monthly projection, this first line, we're going to do the $1,300 times two, 2,600. I'm just gonna put 2,600 for the month and then $1,300 for each pay period. That's the goal. Again, this is just a projection, like an estimate of the month and what I'm paying. So my fixed expenses for the month. Now I'm putting this here because these changes since i've started youtube it's already changed this is like the third time so um the fixed expenses and my projection um they can change if circumstances change and i've explained it when it's changed why it's changed okay so i'm gonna put down my this is monthly budget again so i'm gonna put all of these down so i'm gonna put I wish I hope you can see this actually I don't think you can so I'm gonna do it in I'm gonna do this part in marker so I want you to be able to see this so fixed expenses we have mortgage uh, 860 dollars due on the first and this is July so I'm projecting I'm projecting it that the mortgage okay so this is july outline so this mortgage is being projected for august i'm gonna put that in there all right and we are budgeting 860 dollars of course and this will come in at the closeout so the next bill is due on the second so i kind of want to put these in order and that's my car insurance okay and that's also for next month because it's already coming out for this month. This car insurance is going to be $110 and it's due on the 2nd. And we're budgeting $110. Okay, internet is next. Internet is $40. We're putting internet is due on the 3rd. The amount is $40. Okay, $40. This will be for obvious. I didn't realize, I think that I'm a month ahead. Am I? Not really sure what that means, but. <laughs> um, but the first paycheck of the month is going to be week B. So these are the expenses I'll be paying with the first paycheck. And then for A, these are the expenses that I'll be paying with my next paycheck. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. Um, okay, and the next one will be the, third, the 11th Amazon. That will be for July. Amazon, $8 on the 11th. Okay, so we're gonna do $8. And Netflix, again, this is the whole month budget. Netflix is $11 due on the 12th. Also going to be July. Let's see, 12 phone bill is due on the 15th. So let's see, phone. I don't think I have enough boxes. Phone for July is due on the 15th, and it's sixty dollars. Uh, 16th is utilities, and for the whole month, 
It's not such a matter. Is it? Ugh. Oh. Yes. Utilities total is going to be, I don't, honestly, I'm already feeling like the month is not going to work for me. The monthly projection thing, mm, already is confusing me because <laughs> I never do it this way. So like I explained, $80 will come from one pay period, 95 will come from the next. That's a total of $150 that we're projecting and that's due on the 16th. $150. $60 and $11. All right, and lastly, on my fixed, I have, oh, credit card. All right, so I'm already feeling like if I do this, I'm gonna have to add another spot for allowance because it's coming from here, up here. All right, so that's the due amount is $35, but that's I should do the same thing with the utilities. $4703. So my utility bill is actually $48. We're going to put in $150. $35 for the credit card is due, but we're going to give it $56. Okay, so we're going to do a total. I'm just going to add mm, allowance to the side. Can't see that. Just gonna add allowance. Twenty dollars. Actually, twenty for the month. Allowance is forty dollars. Yeah, I'm not liking this. My brain cannot compute. <laughs> Does not compute. Okay, eight sixty <laughs> plus one ten. I have way too much fun by myself. This is the problem with people who have ADD. And then plus the forty. 12 12 the total here is 12 12 and the projected amount we want to pay is 860 plus 110 plus 40 plus oops plus the projected 40 for allowance so we're actually Hey, oh crap. No, that's for the credit card. The projected is $56. Yeah, so this is a trial run. Clearly, 860. So allowance, we're adding it to here. And I don't, I don't care that I'm messing this up because like I said, this is a trial where I'm in here, 40 for allowance. Okay, Let's start that over. So 860 plus 110 plus 40 plus 8 plus 11 plus 60 plus 150 plus 56 plus allowance. So 1335 is what we're actually paying. Okay, and then actual I'll put in once the bills are already paid to make sure nothing changes between when I budgeted and I actually paid those bills. All right, and savings, I don't expect to change really because that's auto debited. As long as I don't take anything out of savings, I'll be okay. So let's see, I have The three auto savings accounts. So I have my main savings account. I have my car notes. And I have my child savings. My daughter's, whatever. Okay. And I don't know what the beginning balance is, is for those. Let me check. All right. I am probably going to finish the rest of this off camera because clearly I'm having technical difficulties, but I'll be back to show you guys the final final.
So after much frustration and a few wine coolers, <laughs> no kidding. Okay, so after much frustration, I didn't have one. Um, the monthly budget has some kinks that I need to figure out before I bother with trying to share it. Okay, so clearly things did not go well, but that is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bi-weekly budget, so I will go ahead and upload that video. I apologized that um, things did not go as planned, but it's okay. Bi-weekly bi budget works just fine for me, so I will do that for now, and in the future, what I'll do is go ahead and try to work out the kinks that I found in this attempt. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. As always, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to continue to follow along on this journey with me. Please share your own progress. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Always remember it's about progress and not about perfection. Happy savings, everybody. Bye.